Yeah, once you had Rick Rack, you'll never go back. Rick Rack, Rick Rack. The ultimate mo- motorcycle luggage rack solution. Forget those messy straps and bungee cords. Go strapless with Rick Rack. Quick attach luggage system in quality bag. Head on over to the lawbuyingbiker.com forward slash store and get hooked up now. 2020 Sturgis. That's right, guys. There is a, of course, a patron meetup, but this is a public meetup. The entire, as far as I know, law abiding biker crew. Yep. I'm bringing my Sharpie. I'll sign your boobs. Oh, yeah. Bring your boobs or your moves. No uh, moves, you, no you, moves. You'll sign no moves. moves. Oh, you're signing no them all. He might lick your moves. <laughs> no too, moves. So just FYI. But this is a public deal. If you're going to, anytime you want to, you know, meet up with us, this would be the time because we don't get to do the public meetups because we're so focused on the, um, the uh, patron member meetups because, uh, you know, we're not at Sturgis, I guess, and we don't have the facilities to do this. So fortunately, um, Rick Rack and Zero 3D have hooked us up. So Tuesday, August 11th, 2020, Black Hills, Harley Davidson in Rapid City, South Dakota, Rick Rack, 11 to 1 p.m., Zero 3D, 1 to 3 p.m. Again, open to anybody. would love to shake your hand. We'll be filming our documentary film as usual, but uh, it'll just be a great time. And again, all the personalities are going to be there. I mean, I, I'll forget people, but Goat and Squid, um, Big uh, Daddy. Popeye, Big Daddy, Goat. Lurch, Cowboy. I know I'm forgetting that because I can't say them all. But anybody, Oscar. I don't think Scooter's going to be there. Oscar will be there. Oh, yeah. Scooter might be the only one we're missing. Might be the only I'm one. I'm thinking it might be. be. It's going to be a pretty good year. We're going to have a great turnout. So the it's going entire to be the best turnout there. Oh, it's going to be best. Gonna it's going to be fabulous. Nice. Ask anybody. Ask best anybody. motorcycle meet and greet you've ever been to. Just straight. I up. heard that somewhere. There you go. Hey, bag of hawks. Zero 3D has a wide variety of innovative products for your Harley Davidson and a brand new line. The all-new Goldwing named Goldstride. I like the gold. Top quality, affordable chrome lighting and comfort products. Serial Goldstrike are the motorcycle LED lighting innovators for CAN bus plug-and-play system compatibility. Head on over to lawbiking, oof, lawbitingbiker.com <laughs> forward slash store and check out our full line of Serial 3D products. We're starting Damn out right made here. It. Hey, they are, the, made it. they are the LED lighting innovators for CAN bus plug-and-play system compatibility. You learned that today. That's what I said. Uh, you learned that today, so didn't you? I did. Because you took off my whole fairing. Yeah. Oh, my you, God. I had to unplug all my stuff. You've got a rat's <laughs> nest in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's got every Zero 3D product on that bike, as well you should. Yeah, and we did a video we a did. live today. We did. So, and, yeah. and, and Cowboy got to see inside that front fairing. That's a lot of wires, isn't it? <laughs> so, I'm, I'm impressed. But it's yeah. all plug and How play, baby. How much skin, yeah. What did no, I say? No, what did I say? Yeah. what did I say? It's 10 pounds of shit in a five-pound sack. <laughs> but it looks good. Stuff's awesome. No doubt. <laughs> all right, guys. Don't forget um, the official. Oh, what do I got going on here? Going here, bro. Now you're scrolling up, scrolling down, scrolling. Yep, 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 right. The, nope. Dude, do I got Down. two of them? Uh, yeah, you might have oh, two. Oh, I got the two of the you same. Do, you have two. You oh copy my God. twice. Ooh. That's it, awesome. It was a rough week, wasn't Cop- it? I'm telling copy you, dude. Paste. I'm telling you. All right, so here we go. Let's do this. The official That's That's patron. One. I'm going up to the last episode. It's been a hell of a week, guys. 2020 patron Sturgis meetup reminder, Thursday, August 13th, 2020. This is nine, carved out of time from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's going to be outside the greater Sturgis area. You must be signed up. As an official mid-level or above patron member of Lab Media prior to May 13th, 2020. That's three months prior to the event, so we make sure that you are dedicated and willing to do this thing. Deadline for the sign-up is June 1st, 2020, midnight Pacific Standard Time. There's only one place that you can sign up and be vetted and actually be confirmed to attend the event and get all the information. That's over at lawabidingbiker.com forward slash 2020 meetup. That's 200 two zero meetup that's right signing up anywhere else or letting us know via email or anything else does not get you in the event you must go to that form here's the important part two emails guys that you're looking for first one uh, you must get both of these emails the first one is hey thanks for signing up confirmation email good to go and uh, the second one that's often ending up in junk email spam folders for whatever reason is our email list sign up opt-in form you must find that go to your junk email spam folder if you don't get two emails You need to click opt in. That email list is the only way that we will be directly communicating with you if you've been vetted and approved for the event to, uh, you know, include right up to the very 
right before the event, basically, of the times, the locations, the kickstands up, and all the information that you're going to need. So that is the most important is that email opt in. Shall we do this thing, boys? Let's do it. Hmm. Cowboy, you're you're I'm up for ready. every one of them. You're I'm up for not every ready. One of them. No. Everyone, no. giddy up, I'm telling you now. I'll back you up. I'm not ready. Well, you gotta you get first dibs, and I'll back you up. You get what? No. You guys, yep. you guys prep me at the beginning, but not for this. I think I'm, we should just let the music play like this. I'm not looking just at keep you. Keep going and not say a <laughs> word. <laughs> it's you. It's Welcome back, you freaking Mike Hollick. This is the podcast <laughs> for the motorcycle majority of the Big MM, also known as the 99% large and in charge of the motorcycle scene more than any <laughs> time in history by being here, by listening to this very podcast, watching the YouTube channel, however you consume our content, you're part of what we call hashtag the Biker, Biker Revolution. Revolution. Oh, stereo. in stereo, Biatches. We're getting, this is going to be a great episode here. All right, guys. Cowboy just has one question for you before we get started. What are you waiting for, Bikeholics? Mount up. Mount up for another wild-ass ride. There you go. Oh, yeah. Ryan Erlacher here, your host of the Law Abiding Biker Podcast and your... High-tech redneck. Oh, boy. <laughs> Cowboy. Oh, uh, play that music. Mm. We got Cowboy in the house. What's up, y'all? I'm going to roll the song on the way to Sturgis, bro. Oh. It's a good tune. Well, oh, for all the right reasons. Shop at the top of Four Seasons. Oh, yeah. And I'm a real McCoy. They're now West Sucker because they call me a cowboy, baby. I love it. Down in the sunshine shining. Cowboy, thanks for being here in the studio. Appreciate it, dude. Very much. No it's problem. episode uh, I want two of two. I want that song now. I know, I'm dude. Sorry, I'm jealous of your no. song. Lurch. You're welcome. Yeah. Ooh, this is your song. <laughs> and just get used to it. You should be used to it after <laughs> so seven <boring>. years. <laughs> you rang. <laughs> that is not the response we got the That's first podcast. Yeah. 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 There, I did it for you, dude. Oh, I love it. You rang. You rang. All right. Good times, guys. So main uh, topic today, uh, we got some important stuff up front here for you, as usual. But the main topic that we're going to get into is a... Uh, oh, uh, Oop. All about, Oop. all about, Oop. all about. Yep, yep. Mm. Okay, mm. That's, you know why, Merch? Oh, because I'm in the wrong damn. Man, we had to go back. Scrolling going yeah, on dude, right there's now. A the lot show of notes are a mess. <laughs> Let's just talk about nothing. Okay, how to go. easily well, we usually test. Do. <laughs> you're right, yeah, you're right. You're right. Pretty <laughs> we, much how we built well, we our do reputation. That for several hours. <laughs> <laughs> I could, uh, I could get back up in the crawl space and hand you stuff <laughs> no, down. Nope. <laughs> nope. Cowboy. No. I got a, no, I got a present for <laughs> no, you, bro. I'm sure you do. I've got a present you for you. Let's go out it. to the, All right. <laughs> Come here, little girl. I have some candy. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you got to listen to the uh, We oh. Hit 100K subscriber in our seven-year anniversary episode to find out why not to look up yeah. in the bonus you room. that part. <laughs> <above> the, uh, <laughs> and why when I call you to hand something down, you may not want to assist. All right. How to easily test your 12-volt motorcycle battery and charging system with a multimeter, volt, a volt meter. It's a DIY guide. Now, um, this is actually really cool content. Um, it's helped a ton of bikers. I did a video on it like two years ago. Um, so it's been in the queue since then to do on a podcast because we can get in a little bit more detail. We can talk about some of our experiences and some of the batteries we're running and how long your batteries lasted. And I'll ask Lurt some questions and and uh, Cowboy and all that kind of stuff. So it's actually, although we're going to goof around a lot as usual because um, it's our second episode and yeah. we're a couple whiskeys in, um, we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. But uh, yeah, so we will talk about that and break that down for you. And hopefully it's very helpful um, to you if uh, you run into any kind of battery issues and some very easy things you can do so you don't have to pay the dealership $1,000 to diagnose your battery, your simple battery problem that you can do right in your very own shop or garage. So Lurch, do you want to... Uh, well, first I'll Tell say about I'm, this. First, oh, before I do, how's that, your doohickey doing? My doohickey is good. Before I get That's before I said. get into the doohickey, no, um, I'm right at that point. I think where I should really start looking at my battery. Mm. It's uh, five years old. 
um, probably there. So I'll have some good questions for you. But anyways, the doohickey. You have some good questions. Good. Some good questions. I hope I can answer them. I, well, you better. You're the expert. Yeah, I don't know I about mean, that. I mean, you have the YouTube channel. You have the podcast. <laughs> I've seen you put batteries in freezers. Yeah, So true. you must have some type of I do have experience. some knowledge. I okay. do have some knowledge. Uh, so I'm exploring the lithium, so I'll have some questions for you. Okay. Anyways, we have a new free video out. It's called uh, How to Install a Doohickey and a Doohickey. Torsion Spring on a Calus... Wow, KLR 650. Mm. Uh, the doohickey. The doohickey on the Kawasaki. And the torsion spring. This is a, uh, something that is a common weak point in especially first generation KLRs, correct? But recommended for both. But generations. recommended for both. So Worse than one, bad than two. It's a, oh man, help me make sure I say this right. It's like a cam or a chain. Tensioner, some weird thing in there. Balancer chain tensioner. Well, I'll just go right to the article <laughs> we did like, right here. Yeah. Oh, I that. had to use metric tools. It's, they've had issues with the it's counter balancing, balancing chain, chain adjustment mechanism, mesic- or so this i.e. do hickey. So a, a, a gentleman huh. came up with a, a more robust uh, counter balancing chain adjustment mechanism and it's, for it's, your lever. For your lever, uh, it's much yeah. more just, uh, much more robust. But he also came up with a torsion spring instead of a normal round. I don't even know how to. A, a normal spring. What do you think of when you think of torsion a spring? Torsion spring. Well, yeah. no, I'm talking about the original spring. Oh, stretch springs. A stretch spring versus mm-hmm. the torsion. So uh, we installed the doohickey and torsion spring. You installed spring it. I filmed it. Lurched it. Everything okay. on this. I so, installed. I had to use metric tools. So I actually have a question. <laughs> I, felt, I felt so dirty. I actually have a question about this. Okay. So I can possibly. About your doohickey? There's counseling for that, bro. Or Viagra. When we <laughs> when the record button's off, we'll talk about that. <laughs> No, I'd, so I can get my hands on a KLR two fifty. Are you thinking about getting into this? Well, I can get stuff? yeah, my my father in law. I can get it from him because he doesn't want it anymore. And why would you? But, what are you waiting for? <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, all right, but is this an issue with the two fifties or just the six fifty? I don't know. Good question. We'll give, I Sounds like I need to buy know. a two fifty, and then we'll check it out. Yeah, we'll do some research. Okay. We'll do some research because I don't know all the variances mm-hmm. on that. I just am very familiar with the 650. Why does he okay. ask questions that we don't have an answer for? It's all right. Sorry, that's how, that's why people to, love us. That's why people love us because we're honest. I thought that was going to be a great yeah. We don't answer unless great, we know. Great segue into something amazing. But exactly. No, sorry, sorry, bud. I appreciate it. We'll have to look into it. Let me get back to you. <sighs> so Let what, me Google it and get back to you. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, that's okay. Sorry. Well, so I'm going to, I guess I'm going to buy a 250 and all it will... We'll have something to play with. Hell yeah, dude. But yeah, he's yeah. he just wants to get rid of it and I told him I'll buy it from him. So yeah. is, isn't it funny are. that like you get one friend that gets into adventure biking and the next thing you know everybody's got one? I love it, dude, because well, really, more oh. cycling is like that. It's a very communal experience. It's, it's fun all about to go, the two wheels. Yeah, right? it's fun to go out and ride, yeah. but to have bros to go out and ride with. Yeah. yeah. That makes it so much oh, more I've, fun. I've wrecked plenty of times by myself and it just hurts. Yeah, exactly. When I wreck with people, <laughs> it's funny and it hurts. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> it's true. And you have stories yeah, now. You got, yeah. Because nobody believes you unless yeah. they were there. <laughs> right. No, I've wrecked plenty of times by myself. But yeah, it's that's when you cool. Wreck with friends. And we are sprinkling in adventure stuff, guys. And are you we're sprinkling or are you farkling it? Or farkling it. I learned a new term. I don't know if you heard of this, cowboy. Uh, when you um, enlighten me, you put some new stuff on, like your, your uh, adventure bike. Your a non American made V twin. It's called. Got it. Farkling, not wrenching, and what I, the best I can find, and mm-hmm. I, I apologize to the farklers if I use this terminology <laughs> wrong, but You're um, a farkler, all it's right. it's a combination of sparkle and function. I get function, I don't get sparkle, but it's funny nonetheless. Yeah, so we is. farkled you up your KLR. You should look that up in the Urban Dictionary we did. and let me know what it that's says. what he's that's what he's basing off because of, we talked really? about sparkle we actually gave the function came up. We yeah. officially like gave the dictionary. official yeah. definition in a past adventure oh. podcast. So we're sprinkling that in, guys. And we're still full speed ahead on Harley and American Made V Twin and all that. And we love metric bikes too. We yeah. got Gold Wingers in here. We just we're gonna go wherever the channel takes us, and we just I would love to have a Gold Wing too. I have no, I just don't have enough money we're for all this. Expanding. I'm slowly expanding. expanding. We love metric stuff. Um, we're not just exclusive to Harley and American Made V Twin. It's just what we mostly have access to. I've said that in the past. So um, yeah. So we'll continue with that. Now we love our sponsors, um, our you know regular sponsors, but these people also sponsor us, and these are our newest. Oh yeah, patron members Allison of Fort Scott, Kansas, top tier. J.C. Moen of Fargo, North Dakota. Mm. Mm, love it. Q 
Kioni? Yes, Kioni oh. Ka- Kala Oi. Oh, of Richland, Washington. Kaloi. Yeah, Welcome I, so, to the hood, brother. So I, Welcome. Yeah, I was typing that guy's name it. in, and I thought, he's going to be Oh, from did you Hawaii. put that one in there? Yeah, yeah. I typed it in. I oh, like, I was thinking that too right away. I was like, that dude's got to be from from uh, Hawaii somewhere, one of the islands. Yeah. Keone Kaloi. He could Kaloi. be, just from Richland, Washington. But he's living in Richland. Yeah. So I was kind of shocked to put Richland after that gentleman's name. I grew up with a kid named Keone. 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 And he was from the island, so that's how I knew the first name. Very but, cool. Yeah. There you go. Richland, Washington. Welcome, brother. One hour Thank east you. of us. That's where our law-abiding biker Love official it. warehouse and store are down there in Richland, Washington. So how cool is that? Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash Patreon. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. Pledge a certain amount. Purpose content. No risk to you because you can put a monthly cap. There are benefits such as T-shirts and stickers. You can get in that private Facebook group. It's a troll-free zone. That's right. Troll Access free. to live video broadcasts and events. And like this podcast, you'll get it months before everybody else. Up to access to our premium videos up on request for all you top tier patrons. And we mm. continue to go strong now and into the future with our beloved patron members. We'd love to have you be part of this awesome community. My extensive, my extensive search of the internet uh, leads me to believe that the 250 does not have a doohickey. Nice. Now, do not hold me to that. <laughs> not sure that, I, just, take that. <laughs> I just did a quick... Deep dive on okay. the interwebs, and right. I don't think it has a right. doohickey. Well, I I think my plan is to get the two fifty, and we'll figure it out first. Okay. So. Mm. Good research, yeah, producer I mean, don't, extraordinaire. Don't, do not hold me to it. Okay. All right, I'm just getting some stuff up going here, guys, and we'll get into this main topic: is video. Yeah. All right, we did a video on it. It was uh, back in May 13, 2017. So obviously, if you want to follow up with the video, it gives a little bit more visual to the audio that you know uh, content here that we're going to talk about but we'll probably have a little bit more um real life experience here and some stories and and things uh you know uh like lurch's experience with his battery or maybe a uh, cowboy or something like that so how to easily test your 12 volt motorcycle battery and charging system with a multimeter volt meter this is going to be your diy guide we're going to give you some best practices and it's really once i figured it out not that i hadn't done it in the past uh, growing up working on cars and stuff but I'll tell you, at the time of this video, it had been a little while. And so, as usual, um, what I did is I gathered all the information from my past experience. And then I did a lot of research to try to make a video and now a podcast on just like what makes sense for a biker. Like the biker that goes out and his battery's not cranking well, you know, like what does he need to do? What equipment does he need? And let's not make this complicated. Let's make this really easy for cowboy or anybody else oh, to yeah, watch my video sure. and go out and go i got this you know and this isn't the end of the world and i'm going to be able to tell whether i need a new battery or whether i don't and, and kind of what's going on is it the charging system is it the battery and there's some really quick easy things once i gathered all this and put it together in, in the video and that video has done really well we still get comments on it all the time lurch don't we you answer a lot of those comments that we do and popping that, up uh, video was recorded in the old shop Yes, it was. Yeah, Very good. I'm looking at uh, the uh, thumbnail here, and I can see the setup. I can see the uh, air conditioning unit there in your main garage. Yep. Yep, it's true. It's true. Uh, it seems like we've been here longer than that, but it's true. We, it has not. It, it does feel like a million years. <laughs> it does. All right, so <laughs> here's the. So what we're going to talk about, let's start with what equipment you're going to need, all right? Yep. And then we're going to tell you kind of how I ran into this and kind of you know what? what Why happened. you? What what led you to even getting a exactly. meter and checking your battery? Like usual things. Yeah. That's how we get projects around here. When we either something need to wrong. do something, we break something, or we need to fix something. Right? We don't break things. <laughs> never. I've never misaligned your there's, ignition. No, twice. no. There's <laughs> zero broken tabs from plugs yeah. on my bikes. There's. We've never pulled a seat off like Lurch did today with a heated seat plug in and just yanked it <laughs> off and go. Oh <laughs> shit! That was plugged in. Well, what kind of an idiot <laughs> has a heated seat? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't so, either. I don't know. I don't either. I don't so know. I never have. It. I, would have, I wouldn't have I expected that. Pulled it right <laughs> off. Sure, yeah. But luckily he'd done it before me, so tab was already. I told him. I looked at him. I go, "Don't worry, I broke the tab a long time ago doing that shit." <laughs> I pulled it off and I looked at him like, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> "Sorry." So, so uh, the first thing you're going to need, and Lurch, honestly, mm-hmm. um, yes, I'll be honest. With y- you. you will. So I, <laughs> there's a lot of electricians and people that do stuff. I've always told you guys here. Be behind the scenes, Lurch is like the wiring god. Um, I go wow. to him for he is he's the guy. Is, he knows wiring. He gets it. He I do other things that 
that that uh, but that that's his that's his forte and uh um but yep. i will tell you with multimeters um lurch knows a lot more about multimeters and how they work than i do and like testing the continuity of one wire to the other wire i let him do that i know how to use them really well for this yeah um, and that's for testing a simple battery because they have a setting for that, and uh, <laughs> and I get negative and positive. So I'm definitely Lurch can probably you know give give some extra on this, but you'll need a digital multimeter or voltmeter. Now, of course, we have affiliate links. Mm-hmm. Um, I put them below the original video to the actual in the video. It's a very inexpensive, and I love it. It's actually my favorite. I have two of them. Uh, one for my dad before he, or after he passed, I took that one, and then I have this new one which I actually like better because um, it's just it, it's e- it looks easier to use. But um, a digital multimeter, I think it's I can't remember the price, but I will link to it in the show notes, lawabidingbiker dot com forward slash whatever episode this number is in the video. I actually and we'll talk about it a little bit, but I actually show you um, kind of how to set it to test what we're trying to test, which is the volts in a twelve volt battery so all right what are you guys looking at i was trying to look trying it up for you it's, for uh, oh, right, there you go. if you click 19, on the article 1999 yeah 1999. well yeah. you got to have one of these right lurch oh, in your shop Amazon. you must you must, must have one for sure i mean even if you just want to find ground uh if you want to see if uh well if you want to just check the voltage of your battery i mean it's just a very handy tool to have around mm-hmm. yeah. yep and after you, you see this video it saves you so much i mean 19 bucks you can test your own yeah. battery and and charging system to a degree right. to figure out really quickly and narrow things down. I think I use mine more often just to find a good ground. Right. Right? Yeah, no, it is. And I just, I was yeah. thinking like, yeah. I see, and that's the thing, I don't, I'm trying to think how, how you do that. Yeah, I was going to say, you see, he knows, show me. He knows how, I'm I know how to test a battery, now. but there yeah, is, there's like a, now. I think it's a different setting. Yeah, there is. And he, and that's what I'm saying, my dad was brilliant with it. Like he could check all good way he could do or electrical does, work too also and it's to like, see if things are hot you know yeah. that, that's what i to use see if a, a wire is broken yeah. like right like you can put it at one end of a wire so you're other. looking for what they call continuity, continuity. exactly yeah, so you put it on both ends but you have is to this put, the same wire here at the handlebars is back here yes. right you can yeah. tell like oh yeah that's the oh, same so wire i need that yeah, I do that in my life. <laughs> For twenty dollars, you too can have one of these in your life. You too, through my affiliate <laughs> link, <laughs> cowboy. Through the affiliate, very handy tool. Nice. Uh, uh, I use. I don't. I guess the ones I have, I use more for um, wiring stuff up to make sure that yeah, the wire's not broken or to find a good ground. Whereas the, I actually learned, to be honest with you, quite a bit from your video uh, to check the con- to check the the level of your battery. Oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. With the current setting, like again, yeah, I, I've never. I. I the things can do a thousand things different, I than I know. And I don't use it. I don't right. use mine for that. But you still... But now I can. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Oh, interesting. So yeah, we yeah, gain yeah. knowledge off each other. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very yeah. cool. I didn't I, know that. I use my, I've used them in a different way than you have. Yeah. yeah. Rock on. I just... We'll get to it, but I usually just replace my battery when it takes a shit. <laughs> right. But do you know <laughs> yeah. it's taking a shit? And do no, you know whether it's your battery or your charging like, system? Right. right. So that's, that's what we're yeah. going to get into. Well, and I would like to preempt that so I'm not on a six-state ride... And my battery decides exactly. to take a shit. <laughs> exactly. I would yep. like to be ahead of that curve, you know. Uh-huh. It's worth my time and money to swap that battery out if I need to. Yep. And that's what I did. taking that ride. That's what I did on this, yeah. right? Because it was before yeah. I was going to Canada. Yeah, yours yeah. was starting to start a little slow. So Mine's getting there. Yeah. I mean, mine starts a little rough. So this has been an issue that I want to talk about. Is it? Well, this is going to tell it's us. We there. may have to test yeah. here. So it's getting there. This how, is, how old's the bike? 14. Yeah, mine, mine's a 15, so yeah, you're, you're in that um, 5 to Surprise you got that six. much. Yeah, you're that 5 to well, 7 and, years where yeah, they start failing. I bought it in 17, 18, so I don't know. I doubt he changed it No, before, I'm sure it's original battery. Because he only had, yeah, 25,000 miles on it. 2,500. 2,500, Yeah, sorry, that's the geez. original battery, I guarantee Yeah, yeah. You. Now we're over 10,000, thanks to yeah, the, the multi-state The multi-state, multi-state Grand trip. Canyon. Mm, love it. So... I am surprised you guys got that much life. Yeah. And here is what I believe. Um, I believe Harley is putting, like, um, in a lot of those models, like my 2014 Street Glide, because I only got about two years out of mine. Really? Really? A lot of people. Wow. And I got so many comments on that video. Um, because I believe Harley is putting the bare minimum battery for cold cranking amps that they can on that bike. They- and it just barely meets the requirements to turn, especially when it's cold. 
Yeah, that's not unreasonable because even when I've had new batteries, it seems like it that first turn it it barely mm. pumps and then it gets going. Yeah. A V twin motor is quite. It takes quite a bit to turn oh, that yeah, thing right, over. Right, right. Heavy. Yeah. yeah, big big old pistons. It takes a little yeah. while to get it going. Yeah. Sure. And you you might be on something there. Yeah, because I got a lot of comments on it, and I was right at about two years. Well, if I got it in, so I was about three years, something like that, because it was that was a 2017. So I got it in 14, or I actually hmm. got it in fall of 13. So yeah, you got yeah you got one of the first 14s. I did in yeah. 13, yeah, right? In 13. Yep, one of the very so first. Four, I was four years. Yeah, four years. I guess so. I got okay. Still so not I, a lot. I digress. Yeah. So f- uh, do the math. Yeah, four years. Not a lot. Yeah, that's still no. not a lot. No, and it was battery. having it was having issues. Yeah. I started noticing it like three years, mm-hmm. like, and I just kept dealing with it. Right, and it got so like, for the listening audience out there, what kind of issues were you having? What was it doing? What was the sound or the the characteristics of it? So it'll be hard here, but I'll give you the verbally the characteristics. But on the video, I actually do it, um, and I show you what it was doing. But it's the the uh, where you hit the starter, and it's the. Re- you know it, it's how'd that uh, go again <laughs> hang on hang, hang on. on hang on let me do it give me a moment of <laughs> silence it, it. now i'm laughing so hang on, hang on. <laughs> wait, wait. no this is gonna be good it's gonna be the best ever Damn. there nobody's ever made a better sound than this about a battery all right <laughs> is that that sounds about right all right so <laughs> And it kind of hangs. It did, they do. Yeah, right, it hangs like for hang. sure. Yeah, it's and, a lag. And every time you it's do it, you think, oh my beginning. God, is it yeah. not going to start? Okay, yeah, hang yeah. on. It's the pause. We're not done. Oh, sorry. We're not done. Here it comes. It, here it comes. That's Stand right. By. That's what she said. Damn. <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time. You're right, uh, honey. Here it comes. Here All right. Go. So <laughs> this, is, this is just freaking oh, ridiculous. Okay, so. Because this is how we do on this podcast, because we have fun here. Might as well. I've done my. Mm. Interpretation of a, a bike that's not cranking well, <laughs> and our audience is right now. Is like, can you just? This is ridiculous. Yeah. So now it is your turn, Lurch. You shouldn't be stretching. Hang on, Lurch. Do you want Cowboy to go? You have seniority here. Yes, I defer to the oh, junior <laughs> junior lab podcaster. This is twice. So you're deferring to Cowboy. <laughs> cowboy, Baby. are you ready for this? No. All right. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Everybody's ready, dude. Because I want to. Uh, you're going to do it I better. Don't, I don't know. Dude, you know, right. don't give me your bullshit. You know. <laughs> All right. Do it. Your sounds like a pissed off cat. <laughs> like, I don't know how <laughs> to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I don't. <laughs> dude, you got to do it. We're 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 stay, We're not going to say. I'm go ahead. We'll do it. We won't look at you. Though. If you guys are yeah. bored, I'm sorry. It's Cowboy's fault. Uh, I don't. Just give us a rear. Rear. <laughs> you know that's not bad. That was so pitiful. Not bad. That was pitiful, dude. I don't, oh my I got god, nothing. dude. I'm sorry. Give us something yeah, better than nothing. that, dude. All right, Lurch. Lurch are you going to let him? You. It's Are you going to let him stop there? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Now you guys know exactly what we're talking about. You, it, just, it starts and then it hangs. Like, nice. it's, yeah, it's, like, it's a hang. It starts with yeah, some, yeah. some fury. You're like, yes. And, oh, and then you're like, like, is it going to turn again? It pauses. <laughs> like, or, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's a lag for sure. It's, we're it's trying give, to overcome the compression. We're yeah. going to give Cowboy yeah. one more try. I'm sorry. That was... Yeah. That sounds like a pit bull. He sounds like, he sounds like, like a, a lap, like a like a lap it's dog. A dog. dog. <laughs> that sounds like my wife's chihuahua. Uh, You're welcome, Lurch. Yeah, that was good. And that was not planned at all. That's where we go on this podcast. You just never know what you're going to get. All of those sounded like a weak battery. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> if your battery sounds like that, you need help. Yeah, if you what sound like that, say. you need we'll, help. Yeah, we'll a- get to it, but all kidding aside, when you put that first lithium in there and you torched it off, there was no... 
it was exactly fires right up. It's, it's, yeah, 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 exactly. And like li- it turns over li- fast. And we'll get to it. Lithiums aren't cheap, but I think you get what you pay for, but we'll get there. More cold cranking apps, yeah. All right, so you were having one that was uh, failing to yeah, really so turn over, and what led you to... It did that for a year. Yeah. And I, I just did. was like, every time... It's before we had a big trip, wasn't it? We had a big trip before coming Canada. Up. Yeah. Mm, You're like, Canada. I need to check this thing. I think it's it's going out. And of course, what does Ryan think? I need to go get a meter. I need to figure this out. I need to dive deep into it. Mm-hmm. Know 120% about this subject and make a video for and it. Not and not bring a camera. Exactly. Yeah. And not sleep so for a couple it, days yeah. obsessing yeah. about it. Right. And uh, yeah. And I appreciate that, bro. Even helping you out um, with, with lab. Uh, I know that if I just let Ryan get to it first, then I'll figure it out later. <laughs> dude, I love it. <laughs> yeah. no, it's, dude, he, he drags knows, me he into a lot of it. Bike later. He drags me into yeah. a lot of it, but uh, quite often, he yeah, he's figured stuff out before I, before I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's funny, dude. I appreciate you saying that. Um, so yeah, it started, and so like for a year, really where you know, and if you're having that problem, where it's going to rear its ugly head, it's going to rear, rear. It's going to rear, nice. rear. Yeah, so it just it's going there. to be when it's cold. Yeah, yeah. I've sure. almost always had to replace batteries in, like in November when the weather turns. It was decent during the summer. Yeah, and then November, December hits, and all of a sudden, the thing just takes a shit. Yep. Yep. And that's when. Before, Did your neck just he got blow a, a neck, bubble? You can edit that neck, neck bubble, bubble out from nope, Cowboy. I can now because we talked about it. Oh, did we talk over it? No, I heard it. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's usually Ryan that has the neck bubbles. It's true. I, I yeah. have a real bad neck bubble problem when I drink whiskey. All right. Um, but so really where, and so I started realizing when it was cold out, uh, I was like, we're going to go to Canada and this is not cool anymore like it's barely like a couple times i almost didn't get it started we're going to the Once great would, north i need yeah good battery. exactly yeah. Yeah. exactly it's shit up there no i need kidding. a good battery and i yeah, yeah and i didn't want to yeah exactly get up there and, and have that problem so anyways it's kind of spurred this um and i was having the sounds that you just heard from all of us somewhere <laughs> in between all three of those put together <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so um so yeah so i did the research and i kind of knew because like i said i grew up with cars it wasn't like completely new to me i just needed to refresh my memory and again most of it is so that i can relay it to you guys right so um basic thing is um on these multimeters like this one that i talked about um that we'll put in the show notes with a link to there's an actual setting and i don't know how much we can uh do this but there's actually a and i show you on the video but it's basically got a battery thing like a 12 volt battery AC setting or, ac or dc ac or dc yeah. and yeah, I, what i like about this multimeter is actually says battery you didn't need, that's you, what i mean yeah you don't exactly. need to know if it's ac or dc exactly and that's kind of why i like it because you might only use this thing um once every couple of years or something like that so um, keep going down down is it in there to the right nope up oh the right. right there that one yep yep that is it that's the one from the photo okay yeah you're right so I just did a link to general. There's other brands. If you don't like this one, then do that. Yeah, there's a battery load test, and you oh, can just... Nice. That's um, handy. And there's a 9-volt, a 12-volt, a 6-volt, and a 1.5. So, of course, you just put it on the 12-volt under the battery load test, and you're golden. My dad's was a little more... You had the, a 20-volt. You, you would... You no, would, but you can, you can do it. It just was... It has 2 volts and 10 volts or something and 20 volts, and you just yeah, put you it gotta the go closest. One I went yeah, to 20. You have to go to 100. Yeah, that's what I did, yeah. and I explained yeah. that in the video. I love it, yeah. But this one makes it super simple uh, to, to uh, test the battery. So basically what you do from there, um, we're going to go through some basic concepts of batteries and kind of what you're looking for. So obviously, without going you know crazy here, because I know everybody pretty much knows that is... Obviously, there's a red lead, and you got to plug Positive. them in too. You got to plug them in too to the right places, right? Um, so on this thing, it's uh, and I show you in the video, but there's different plugins. But you want to do red to red, black to black, right, Lurch? Yes, yeah, that's yes. negative and positive. Yeah, and on the yeah. multimeter, there's two plugs over to the right, lower of it, and you want to plug those in. And then, of course, on your battery. You want to touch the red to the red and the negative to the negative. There you go. Um, there's no stupid question, and we know everybody's at different levels, so we like to mention the simple stuff sometimes. And it's in the video. It's in, it the, is video. in the video. Yes. And uh, so on that, what you're looking for, so if you're running a, a, a lead acid, let's just say, which it hardly is going to come stock with your lead acid because lithium ion are so expensive. Um, Number one thing you want to do before you test your battery. So right now we're going to determine, like, is my battery bad? 
or um, is my charging system bad? We just know that we have some cranking issues. So we're going to put that multimeter on there, get her all set up in the right spot, and then we're going to test our battery. We're, first thing we're going to do is dump the surface charge. Very important because batteries, just like you guys know, like you can have batteries like in your flashlight. This is a, this is a good analogy. You can have batteries that are almost dead in your flashlight, but if you turn it off for 10 minutes, they build a surface charge. Yeah, and you'll turn yeah. it on and it'll be bright and then it'll die. That's a surface charge. That's not really... So you want to dump that surface charge. Because if you turn your bike on for two minutes and let your headlight run and your radio and all that, um, if your battery is really bad, it's going to be dumped. Um, but before we test it, we want to get rid of that surface charge. That way we know this is a true reading. Make sense? So how long do you turn on? About two minutes. Okay. Yep, about two minutes. Dump that surface charge. Then you turn your ignition off. You grab your handy multimeter and you put on your battery. And now what you're looking for for a good, healthy battery without the bike on, without it running or anything like that. Um, oh, do you know the stats here? Does he know? He said it earlier. He did. Cowboy. 12.4. Two. 12.6. Nice. Nice. That's what you want to see, people. Yep. And if you're at 12.39 yeah, or at 12.72, I mean, you're in there just somewhere in that range. And now if you were below, you know, 12, you're getting down near just 12 or something like that, or certainly below 12, um, you've got a bad, th- that would tell you right away that your battery um, is not keeping a charge, right? It's right. just not fully charged. And now what is the reason for that? We don't know yet. Um, but we do know that that battery is probably just not taking a charge. Well, that would be your first assumption because it's not within that range, especially if it was below the 12. You just know that battery's uh, done. But in my case, on this particular deal, is my battery tested it like, I can't remember what the video said, but it was like, it was well in the 12, 4, 12, I think it was at 12, 7. So I knew that my battery was charged. Now, why won't it crank my bike, right? Like it, but I got a full charge. The battery's taking a charge. It's holding a charge. And you can come back in the next morning. It's still at 12, seven. So I'm good there. Um, so now we got to go to the next level, right? Like, um, clearly I would believe at this point, my charging system is working because yep. I ran my bike, right. I rode it. Right. So I, I assume we can still do a further test on that in a little bit to make mm-hmm. sure that's the case. Um, but we certainly want to make sure, um, you know, it's, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the charging system system itself is working. So I'm good with everything now. So now the biggest test that you want to do, which is often the case, the CCAs, eh, mm, the uh, cold cranking amps. Yeah. Those cold cranks. That is definitely. I love those cold cranks. Oh, dude. Mm. The cold. That's I prefer usually, a hot crank. But. <laughs> dude. Yeah, but usually you don't warm, have... Warm, maybe just warm. Usually it's just cold because you're in just a hurry. A warm crank. Yeah. Usually you're cold because it's you're in a hurry, dude. Lurch, you know what? Yes, sir. Just do it. Just tell me about it, Lurch. Hey, Bikeaholic, searching for new and exciting motorcycle products? Serial 3D has products you dream about for your bike. Check out their wide variety of innovative products for Harley-Davidson and Honda Goldwing motorcycles. Serial 3D's got your back with chrome and black parts, lighting, and other comfort products. No modifying, cutting, grinding, or welding for an easy installation and less time installing, which equals more time riding. I like that. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Zero 3D has a design team with over 40 years of experience with a passion for design and innovation. Zero Gold Strike are the motorcycle LED lighting innovators for CAN bus, plug, and play system compatibility. They Ooh. pride themselves on great customer service. Got a question? Get in touch with them via email at sales at zero 3 dcom or give them a call at 715-808-0027. Check out your local Harley or Honda dealership and ask for Ciro or Gold Strike parts. A new leader has emerged, so Woo. check out Ciro 3D's custom line of Gold Strike products for all new I Honda like it, gold, gold Wings. Better yet, help uh, support us and head on over to lawabidingbiker.com slash forward slash store and check out our full line of Ciro 3D products. Mm. So good, Lurch. That was one of my better takes. So good. More- <laughs> I, I think you, I think you win. I think you win. That's gonna be. I think you win. I think that's gonna that's gonna be the next seven years. The next <laughs> next thousand followers, hundred thousand followers, we're gonna have the. <laughs> oh yeah, that's taking it back, dude. It's going. All right, so. 
the next uh, thing we want to do. So you know that your uh, bike's charging, the battery's We believe charged. it is. There's still some we further believe. tests. We've got to do a little bit more. but it's Based on the, common sense. Based on common sense, you would think it's charging right. The battery's got the optimum charge level, but it still is not kicking the bike over. Why? Mm. Kicking, mm. kicking that bike. Here's the next test, biatches. All right, so you get your, oh, you already have it out. You grab that little handy dandy voltimeter. <laughs> you guys could go. Alone. You've already got it out. I mean, <laughs> wow, that was quick. Wow, you you dude, moved fast, Ryan. Dude, I got like five minutes before I go to work. I got to get stuff done, dude. I got to get her done. Get her done. All right. So we, uh, um, yeah. So you want to? Um, we've already taken away our surface charge and all that. That's cool. We've tested the battery. So now we're to the point where we're going to have to fire the bike um, because we're going to need some readings. All right. So. Let me get this going here, Lurch. Do you have the article up? I do, uh, I do somewhere. Okay. Hold on. Let me look oh, at God. it. Oh, God. There it is. Yep. yep. Okay. Flip. Got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you asking for? What can I do for you? <laughs> Let me yeah, there's look. a picture of you. Looks like he's got it. Yeah, you got two meters there. Look at you. <laughs> oh, I do because, yeah, I did. I put a couple meters, so let me do this. You got to talk about tenders and tenders. Okay, tenders. so... No. Oh, uh, Tinder. Okay. I need no. to find that. Not Tinder. That's <laughs> a dating app. That, that, that Tinder, yes. Not yes, a Tinder, a Tinder. So. You want to talk your, about your CCAs? Yes, we're going to talk about CCAs. So you're okay. going to grab your multimeter, throw it on your bike, and uh, you're going to, obviously, sometimes you need more hands uh, than you have. So you might have to have somebody hold the negative and positive right directly on the battery, and then you're going to fire your bike. Let's see what it drops down to. Exactly. You have to pay attention quick because it happens quick. Because you might get a low reading and then a steady higher reading, or you might just get a low reading and a really low reading. At the end of the day, what you're looking for is when you fire your bike and it's get, getting that pull from the starter, which is a massive amount of juice, mm-hmm. where is it taking those, the, you know, your battery to those cold cranking amps? This is what's most important about a battery, in my opinion. Um, and so you're looking for readings. Now, um, if you get down to 10, you're cool, you know, above 10. I mean, it should drop it significantly. What we're looking for is critical levels. Um, and if you drop, the, the, the basic rule is if it's 9.6 volts. If you drop to 9.6 volts, especially below that. Um, if you're 9.5 if you're at nine six, like your battery will still do it, and that's where mine was at, right? Right. Like yeah. it'll still do it. It'll get her done for now. Barely. Next week will it? But I don't how know. Long? But how long? Yeah. Now I was below that, but it was close. Um, but I had been pushing that for a year, right. so you know, like how long is this going to last? So that's what you're looking for. Um, if you if you see it really spike really quick, and uh, I think mine went to eight. Right off yeah. the bat, eight Shit. something, eight I six, so. yeah. or I can't remember. I show it on the video. I think it's an eight six. Eight six. I think you're right. Yeah, that's that's bad, and then that's bad, and that's not what you want. And that's when you know, okay, my battery is tits up, and it's on its way out, and it's dying. Could so. you explain to me what that uh, technical <laughs> term is? I've never heard of tits up. I mean, I have a battery that works. It doesn't work. Sometimes it kind of works, but my battery's never been tits up. Well, dude, I'm just saying. What, uh, is, what is it? Well. It's, Does it mean it's, it's on its back? It's really a visual thing. Okay. Like that what you saw today. Is, that battery is right. on its back. That it's was dead. ass down today. And uh, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you were tits it's up. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It yeah, is gonna we're going to bring you there. <laughs> Somehow, some way. So, yeah. So that's the thing is you want to check for that. If you see that, then I would, I would tell you, get a battery. So that's a really couple easy tests um, that you can do on your battery um, to, see, to see what's up. Now, further... Um, obviously you're going to fire your bike, right? So if your battery is not completely tits up, it's going to start your bike, right? Like mine. Now there's a couple things while your bike's running that you want to look for. Um, and this brings up a interesting question. So hang on a Make second. A note, sir. Mm-hmm. Cause one consider or one thing to consider is potentially your charging system's not working and not mm. topping that battery off. Right. Exactly. So you don't want to just assume it's a, Bad battery. Do all the tests. I mean, while you got your meter out and you got everything going on, seats off, the battery's exposed, why not check it all? Exactly, buddy. So how do we do that? How we roll. How do we do that? So while your bike's running, you have both touch to the battery, obviously, red to red, black to black, all that good shit. Um, But uh, you're looking at your voltmeter. This is what a lot of people don't know. 
you have a 12 volt system right so your battery we've already said should be between 12.4 with the bike off 12.6 after you've released the surface charge um and you're like well it's a 12 volt system okay mm-hmm. well, we're in 12 volts but when so your bike's reading, running it should be reading 12 volts then right exactly well it should be reading between 12.4 and 12.6 or somewhere around there okay. with right. the bike off yeah okay yeah but when it's um, running it should be around 12 volts right it means 12 volts oh well that would be incorrect lurch why i just i don't mean to scold you but all right yeah no we're playing games here i love it i do yeah i mean to scold you you need to scold him <laughs> through ryan right stand by he's been scolded <laughs> uh so yeah so when your bike's running you want to look at that and uh your bike should be running about 14 Stop. volts that sounds like too many my battery is 12 <laughs> volts i know this is what confuses people it is and we get a lot of questions on it and when we get into lithium here a little bit people yep. get questions about this so um, that's very normal your your charging system and we did a podcast can you look it up Re- type in recti- rectum rectifier yeah no Rectifier. Yeah, take right. take just, safe search off. No, I want you to type no, in rectum. Take, no, yeah, it's safe search rectifier. off. You saw it's a rectum today. <laughs> I did, unfortunately. <laughs> Keep going back to that. It's, it's a circle it's you can't get out. out. Yeah, you just can't. Um, we did an episode with uh, Evan Grist, right? Yes. Super knowledgeable. That has uh, been an evergreen episode. 134, Harley-Davidson alternators, stators, regulators, rectifiers, charging system, your complete guide. There you go, lawabidingbecker.com forward slash 134. Yeah, he really was, he did a great job of putting it into um, things that make sense for bikers. That's a good way to say that. I listen, had the, re, the way I wrote that article is I listened, I sat on yes. the sofa and listened to his yeah. episode and I put it in he put writing. It in simple terms, easy yep. to understand. Okay, now I get it. Yep. You guys really need to visit that if you want to learn about how your charging system and your uh, uh, rectifier works. Um, what is it? Rectifier? Rectifier. Yeah, it's something else too, though. Limiter. Is you got it? your alternator, your stator, regulators, and rectifier. Re- regulator, rectifier. They're kind of yeah. one in the yeah. same. Um, but so here's what happens essentially in biker terms. The reason it's charged, it'll charge over 12 volts to get it to 12 volts. Don't worry, it's not a big deal because it should be there. If your charging system is putting out below like 12 volts or 11 volts, then your charging system is tits up or your regulator rectifier, which tells. The, it comes from the charging system, and then it goes through the regulator get, rectifier, and it tells how much. It's like a, a sprinkler system. It's like a rev How much water. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, a pressure yeah, yeah. reducer. You have, like, yeah, you have right. two different types of current. you got yeah. AC and DC. So you're creating AC, and you got to run it through a regulator or rectifier to get it to DC. So mm. you're, you're, you're basically not going to overcharge the battery. It's a, it tells it's a the rev, battery how much. It, right. Rev limiter seems simple, but it's like a rev limiter. Yeah. Yep. You're putting a whole shit ton in there, and you got to bring it down to a level that'll be acceptable for the battery. Like a pressure reducer on a sprinkler system. Perfect. It reduces, it, and it tells like if you're how much am trippers. I sending to the battery. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, right. So. yeah. So, Go with Ryan's. <laughs> okay. So regulator, rectifier, will re- will tell how much. So the the current that should be coming out is somewhere um, around 14 volts. Interesting yep. enough, I have one on my KLR. It, it, at, when I run, it's 14.5. Whoa. Yeah, and it's fine. That's it's on normal. the higher end. Yeah, it's on the higher end. But somewhere, my, I think my Harley was, my street glide was like 13.9 on the video, somewhere around there. That's where you want to be. If you're down 12, if you're down 11, 10, then your, your charging system, your stator, all that, you know, your generator, all that kind of stuff is bad or the rectifier regulator is not it's not rectifying and regulating correctly cuz while oh, your 12 volt ooh, system nice, is nice rain while your 12 volt system's running uh, you're sending power to it but you're also pulling from it and if oh, you're not, thank so, you for that clean up yeah. yeah so if you're not giving a little bit more you're going to eventually run your battery down you've yeah. got to be giving a, a little bit more so that what you're pulling from it doesn't draw it all the way down nice that dude that was good thank you that was good cuz i would have forgot to say that yeah, yeah. that was full circle nice thank I like you. it Full circle. All right, I'm out. Um, Good night. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Nice, Lurch. Put a bow on that one. Lurch is out. There it is. All right, so um, so those are very normal levels. So check that, because that will tell you really quick. If it wasn't, then you got to start digging in deeper and figuring out, okay, what's wrong with my charging system or my regulator and all that kind of stuff. Um, and that was very simple terms. It's much deeper than that. So you that know more than that are crucifying no, us. No, they're like, this dummies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're just trying to put it in like overall 
biker terms. Layman's terms. And what you need to know to really easily diagnose these kind of things. If you want to actually know about rectifiers and charging systems, please go to that episode we mentioned. 134. And listen to an expert on it because that's why we brought him on because he knows so much more about that than us. So, um, yeah, so that's something to be aware of is just where you're at. You know, are you charging correctly? And now you can make the determination after this case, like I just told you, we're charging when it's running at 13.9. We're down to eight something when we're cranking. We realize that this is truly the battery. So that would be the time that it would be safe to, to replace your battery. Now you can take it down. I don't always trust them. It's just me, but uh, not the people. But the Harley shop will put your battery on a thing and it'll give you a little color thing and tell you whether it's good i found those that have been wrong before they say it's still good within a certain range you know what i'm talking about they have a little touch they give you a Mm -hmm. little printout and it tells you where your battery's at i've had them put on a bad battery before and i knew it was bad just and it was yeah and it said it was still serviceable was mine serviceable probably I, I, yeah, yeah obviously it, it was. It, it was still starting to bite running. barely, right. but barely. for how long? Yeah. Right. The other yeah. thing you might want to do too is if you're, this is what I did um, and I talked about in the video is in the garage and all that kind of normal daytime stuff, um, it was doing okay. But if you really want to test the limits, we talked about this a little bit. If you think it's going bad, leave it out night in the cold weather for a night and then start it in the morning and if it's really significantly worse than then you'll know that because you don't want to end up in a situation right. where it is a cold environment and you end up there. So yeah, there you go. Those are some easy ways to test your charging system um, to, to see, you know, if, if you need a new battery and we're going to get a little bit deeper. And do you have anything to clean up on that or nope. anything in the video you guys saw that uh, would be useful? To I have the questions moving forward, but I know you're going to go there. So I'm going to wait. Well then, because we're going to talk about what do you do when your battery takes a shit. Cowboy. Oh, yeah. Are you searching for the easiest and quickest detachable luggage system for your motorcycle? Oh. Rick Rack has just Rick what you're Rack, looking for. Forget all those frustrating straps, bungee cords that can come loose and slap your pain. Slap your pain. Slap it. Check out. One of Rick Rack's awesome quick attach strapless luggage rack systems. This father and son team designed something really special that you can't find anywhere else. Yep. And these guys ride, so they truly understand the needs of bikers. The Rick Rack quick attachment system is strong, durable, and secure with a lockable system. Also, check out their full line of quality touring bags to accompany your quick detach systems. Once you use a Rick Rack, you'll Rick never Rack. go back. What are you waiting for, bikeaholics? Head on over to the Law Abiding Biker Store and check out our full line of Rick Rack systems and bags. Lawabidingbiker.com forward slash store. Check them out. Yeah, buddy. Oh, we got two. Oh. Two sponsors going there, dude. How about that? Yeah. All right. So, where do we go from here? So you've checked your battery, you've checked your charging system, and you've deduced that your battery is going... Nice uh, word. Bullshit. Nice. What's a, let's see. Wow. Is that even proper? Hang on. <laughs> you are, gotta, <laughs> hang on. Define deduce. It's like it's, deduction. Oh, we got to figure... Deduced. No, I believe it's a real word. I just want to... Because if you're wrong, I want to tease you. That's an admin term right there. It, that's... Oh, no, dude. That is an admin <laughs> term. Arrived at a fact or a conclusion by reasoning. Nicely done, wow. bro. Wow. Nicely done. Pulled that out of your arse. <laughs> <laughs> Take this podcast next level. So you've deduced... Next level. That just ruined the podcast by using words like that. You have deduced that your battery is tits up. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do we do? Yeah. So, yeah, it's time for a new battery. All right. Anyways, guys, we are out of here. Get a new battery. All right. So, uh, yeah, all right. But what kind of battery do I get, Ryan? I don't know. I mean, so, you can definitely replace it with the stock Harley battery, and that's fine. But I think you have some... Type them in your search bar. Type in lithium and see if we've done an episode. Let me look there. That's how many episodes. I don't know. Like, (laughs) I think we might have done something specific to this. Uh, And if we have, I won't get too... Oh, so we don't get too deep into it. Yeah. I'm still going to get into it. Um, but I, I don't want to get too deep if we. Uh, you get you have a uh, vlog, you have a video. <laughs> mm. 
nope. yes, Lab 176, lead acid versus lithium. There you go. So check out Lab 176. Episode 176, because yep. I think me and Oscar did that, if I remember right. I may not say in there. It doesn't matter. It says, seems like one I would bring Oscar in on. Most likely. Uh, and you got a bunch of videos and uh, on how to install it. Uh, yep. And you, tested, you did some testing. I vaguely remember you putting it in your freezer. That was the video, yeah. 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 That was the video where I tested a lithium ion um, and tried to get it to go to sleep. Right. Because oh, some yeah. people say they'll go to sleep and stuff right. like that, yeah. And we that didn't happen. And I'm smoking a cigar. Yeah. That was pretty sweet, dude, because it was a sterile environment. I think I was making fun. It was it was kind of a fun um, poking at uh, the sterile, sterile, very quality-controlled testing. And I oh, threw it in my fridge. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. it's a very sterile environment. I was smoking a cigar, putting it in my <laughs> freezer. You know, that's a very qualified test. But uh, yeah. So if you're not going to get Certified. into that too much, you're going to talk about uh, how to maintain them, how to. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about lithium. Um, oh, okay. I've talked a little bit about the back. You can. Well, I thought you were taking me away from that. No, I wasn't. I just didn't oh. want to get too yeah, involved. Okay. He was trying right. to. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Um, so you got two options lead acid, um, obviously a lot cheaper, a lot heavier, um, or a shit ton heavier. A shit ton heavier. Or, and usually they only have a one year warranty. Um, and that's just pretty standard. So if it goes bad at two years, I mean, you're done. Just get a new battery. Um, lithium ion, obviously newer technology. Uh, again, I go into it in the videos and the podcast we did, um, but lighter. And most of them come stock to your warranty, but they are spendy. Crazy light. I've been testing them and I'm going to get the crazy light. Crazy yeah. light. It doesn't yeah. feel real. It's like it, it's, this is a toy. This can't yeah. be a battery. I know. It weighs almost nothing. That's stupid. In fact, the, the case that you, uh, the battery's in is really not the full size of the battery. The battery's exactly. much smaller. But they put in a bigger box, if you will, so it fits the... <laughs> the Harley. The, and the, doesn't bounce around. The hole. Oh, right? I got yeah. you. Oh, yeah. really, oh. dude? Oh, my Jeez. God, dude. Are we going yeah. there? Yeah, lithium batteries are light and small, but they make it in a bigger case. So yep. it fits the battery tray apartment yeah apartment thank you that was much cleaner yeah, much better than a hole <laughs> much cleaner way to <laughs> much thanks. better than filling that hole thanks kid right. boy. Yeah. Yeah, good job on deducing that i don't even know just a matter of deduction. <laughs> deduction this is going <laughs> this is going left real fast so um i am testing lithium ions you guys know that i've been doing it for years so i put this lithium ion um and i have a whole article and the podcast there's links through to the battery I'm using. Again, I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Still running that as of today, and it's 2020, March of 2020. And, and when did you put it in? Well, whenever this t- original yeah, video article was, came out in 17. So May 13th of 17, right after that, I bought within a week. So in May of 13, uh, May 2017. Yeah. So we're almost three years. Yeah. And I'm still, still running up by quick. money quick. How's like it crazy. <laughs> now it goes, hang on. <laughs> it, doesn't, it definitely doesn't have the lag. Nope. nope. It doesn't have that. Stop. Yeah. It doesn't it's have that. Your, it's, it's your turn. turn. Yeah. Hang on. Do you want to do Say now, originally, You are senior. Do you want to defer to him no, first? No, I will go. Now, originally, I went. Yeah. Now it doesn't. It goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, please watch your the video turn, cowboy. <laughs> please watch the video. Only patrons will be awesome. able to. Everybody else oh can only hear God. it. Only patron members Sign can see up the video. For Patron, because that was worth. That it was right worth. There. That right there is a reason you should it. sign up for Patreon because you'll get to see this in the back oh, end of your account man. video. That actually sure. hurt my face a little bit. <laughs> it did. Hurt my face. <laughs> that was awesome. Well worth it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, so I'm trying to look at him stalling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> like um, uh, um, to... what about this? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. You guys got me. All right. So we started with a little bit of a... Uh, now we're full. Now we're... Like Lurch did. Lurch just did it so well. No, no, you'll do yeah. it better. Go ahead. Yeah. Dude, you want to be... Now we're just... <laughs> <laughs> Went for it, you know. Not bad. I mean? not bad. Like That's not bad. Full That's tilt. Not horrible. It's full tilt. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. <laughs> we're just going full tilt. Oh, with the we have too much fun here. <laughs> Ultimate, Children. Ultimately, what we're saying is there's a lot more cold cranking amps. <laughs> that lithium's got some juice. Oh, yeah. it does. Yeah, yep. it does. 
And I'm not going to get into the details because I don't want to look it up. Um, but it had a lot more cold cranking amps uh, right off the bat, um, the lithium ion. Now, you can get lead acid with more cold cranking amps, um, too. So don't think that you have to go lithium. You can get a better They're battery. Heavy, though. They're super heavy, which, you know, at the end of the day, does that matter in a Harley? You're talking about a thousand pounds. That's with all- 10 more miles in, uh, per hour. Yeah. Yeah, right. Definitely. Right. So I don't, I love the lightness, but it's not really, I don't, it's not really a selling factor for a Harley. Other than when you have to take it in and out, it's really nice. I'm more interested in the longevity of it and the cold cranking apps and all that kind of stuff because they're supposed to last a lot longer, like eight years. I've heard people getting eight, nine years. Oh, wow. So you pay more up front. Yeah. But now don't quote me on that. That's why I test stuff here. I'm like, it's going to be a while before I can give you whether I get eight or nine years out of it. But I got three out of it. Hasn't skipped a beat. Um, The thing's really good. Uh, And again, there are issues like people say about them going to sleep and stuff. I really haven't dealt with that. I do keep my bikes, all my bikes, even the lithium ions, which brings up a point. Then we're going to get into this a little bit. Um, Let's see. Tender. Let me make that You keep yours on a tender. I do. Cowboy keeps his on a tinder. A tinder, right. I do. Mm Mm-hmm. If you guys, what's your tinder username? Mm Mm-hmm. (laughs) Gaycowboy.com. Gotta save a horse. <laughs> bring, bring your own saddle. <laughs> yeah, 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 dude. Uh, yeah, he's got his own human saddle, dude. <laughs> have you ever heard of a human saddle? I have, unfortunately. <laughs> dude, they have human saddles straight up. Oh yeah, there's Cow- a whole pony thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. cowboy, pretend like you don't know about that, dude. I'll try. <laughs> You'll try to pretend like you don't know about it, dude. Uh, <laughs> <That's> the- <laughs> Uh, the sound effects don't make it better. It's a That's human so saddle, dude. Baronies. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, and, uh, there's we, a lot of things that I know I wish I didn't know. Right, yes. And we use... All right. We're just having fun about the gay cowboy, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. We just we just got to make fun of it, all right? Uh, um, but uh, I digress. Uh, where was I? Way far. You digress. I way digress. Far. <laughs> We have no idea where Tin- we are. Tenders. Oh, yeah. You were going to go into maintenance and tendering your... Oh, yeah, yeah. You tender, tenders yeah. on all your I bikes. wanted to make that note. So, yep. um, the, I got the, you. So a right. big question I get, and we get it on this video. Do you need a different tender? Yes. God, people are like... So here's the question that arises on the YouTube channel a lot. It's, it's a good question, though. It is, and I should have answered it, and I didn't realize at the time. I mean, you make a video, you do the best you can. I wish I could add that in, but you can't do that on YouTube. Um, once the video's out, it's out. So I just answer it a lot. But guys are like, okay, so uh, you put a uh, lithium ion in, and uh, that's cool, and I'm interested. But you say that the chart, you know, you say that, oh, so here's the deal. Lithium ions, when you test them, dump the surface charge, bike's not running, they're going to have a reading of about 13.5 instead of 12.4 to 12.6. Mm-hmm. So that's why you want to make sure you have the right tender because, because they charge it on their level. So the question would be, which is a common qu- good question, is, well, if you're running a Harley and you put a lithium in it and it's supposed to be at 13.5, how does the charging system handle that? Oh, yeah. You can you, an- based on the knowledge you have now, can you answer the that? The rectifier. Which we already said we're running when we're running the bike. What's it? What's it reading? Oh uh, well, it was somewhere almost around, fourteen volts. Yeah, around yeah. It's 14 so does plus that have the capability to charge a thirteen five yes. lithium? Yeah, and keep it top. It won't overcharge it. It won't explode and blow your nuts off. That's what guys are worried <laughs> yes. about. Yes, they're afraid it's going to overcharge that lithium. Yeah. That somebody's going to no. They're blow worried up. it's going to undercharge it too, uh, depending on what they yeah, know. Because they're thinking it's a twelve volt system. Yeah. Sure. So they think it's not going to be able to charge. Oh. To the thirteen five, and, and answering the right. YouTube questions, I've seen both. They're both. concerned about overcharging the lithium, it getting hot and blowing their nuts off. The rectifier right. will give it the appropriate amount of juice. It won't over or undercharge it. Yes, but there's a difference when you come to tenders, which I think. Explain you're that, have. why don't you? Uh, the lead um, acid tender will charge at too low a rate it won't fully charge to the about 12.4 to 12.6 yeah, it's, just, it's just not enough oh, for a, an, a, an ion lithium battery you need a different a lithium ion thank you you need a different tender <laughs> you didn't even hear that that's an awesome i was thing. just going with he it. said ion lithium yeah i was just Whatever. going with it <laughs> i just call them lithiums but we're trying to do the ion thing. do lithium yeah. lithium 
listen. Yeah. Listen. 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 You, you need a little bit of a, if you will, a, a, a hotter charger. You do. Yeah. So, yeah, you, yeah. You, the problem with the ba- battery it's, tenders, if you put a 12-volt regular li- uh, lead acid on a lithium ion, it's only going to charge at 12.5. 4 to 12.6 and you really need the 13.5 so it's going to undercharge it you don't want to undercharge it you want to charge it fully um the problem with putting a lithium ion charger on a lead acid is you're going to overcharge it yes. it's going to charge oh. it to like the 13.5 and that's not good no so you want to make sure now we will uh, in our all our videos and in this episode i'll try to put a couple links for you guys uh, if you want to support us some affiliate links actually we have them directly in our store now i i digress we have those exact chargers in the Law Abiding Biker store. The one I like the most is uh, I have all, I have some regular lead acid ones. Those are the standard. And then the ones I like the most is uh, the, the one in our store, um, along with the others, is the one that you can switch mode. So you can, yep. it charges both lead acid or you can hit the little switch and it changes it. And now you're charging um, lithium ion and it just knows by switching that switch of which level it should charge on that's the one i'm using on street light special right now that's the one i'm using on the the uh, dyna lowrider s now let me tell you this i'm charging two different lithium ion batteries and i did want to mention this um and they're both doing really really well they're two different brands now the if you look do you have those notes up lurch on the lithium can you remember the um the different ones you had? The one I have on the Street Light Special. I have the one that I have on the Dyna Lowrider S. I, for the life of me, it's blanking me right now. You're using the Twin Power. Yes, Twin Power. And if you guys go to any of these videos or articles, you'll get links directly through to the batteries that I'm using now. On the Dyna Lowrider S, I'm testing another brand lithium ion. And let me pull that up. This one is the hard drive WMD battery. All right, so I made some notes because I keep notes because I want to know how long this thing lasts and if it's doing well. Uh, I'm looking for a date. Let me know if you see a date on that. But I put it on like a year after. I actually did a video on it. If you look it up, you'll see me sitting in front lurch of the, uh, you'll see me on, Oh, yeah, 2006, purchased in 2006, brand new. That's the bike. That's the bike, yeah. Right there. Bad in 2018. So it lasted August. two years yeah. at best. Yeah. This is what I, so this is the two-year battery. Yeah. I was, it was four years on the Street Glide. So the Lowrider S, which is a 110, um, you know, that 110 motor. Probably needs a little more cranking amps. Exactly. And it only lasted two years. Uh, so wow, that's not. I wonder went if you bad, got a bad in 2018. Battery. Yeah, August. Yeah. 2018 went no, down to six volts. That I've, turning over. Yeah, and what I'm telling you is, this is a lot of the comments that this is not uncommon. I think Harley, obviously, like a lot of stuff, they put the minimum requirement right. to turn that motor. They're not going to give you anything extra. And if it does it, cool. And if not, well, then pony up and buy. Go to Harley Davidson, pay their mechanic to test your battery, and then buy another battery. I'm not saying they're doing it on purpose. I'm just saying. I think they're under putting underrated batteries in those bike stock. It's been a problem for a long time. So I always had it on a tender. Um, yeah. So 2000, August 2018 is when I put that, and we're at 2020 now, and it's still doing really good every time I put it on. But I will tell you guys that I put, and some guys, we've done this, and again, I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole too much, but you know whether you should keep your bikes on the battery tender all the time. The way I understand it is there's only so many charges that a lithium ion will take. It's kind of like an iPhone or an, you know any smartphone. They have a life. Like they can only be charged so many times and then it's drained and then it charges back up. And a lot of them, even though you plug it in, drain a little bit. So it's trying to keep this battery life. They, they're very smart batteries. And so, um, you know, a lot of guys say don't. And I don't know exactly. Some guys will unplug it for a a week and then plug it back in for a week and I just forget and I haven't done that but we're going on both these well 2018 and the other one was what year you get what did I say I replaced that 17 so yes. yeah so they're both still going and I keep them a hundred percent of the time pretty much on tenders um, and the tenders turn off and turn on when they need to um, I don't know if that's best practice um, I'm not really worried about it if I get you know, five, six, seven years out of this lithium, I'm good with that with the price. And I know that it's solid 
and it's turning my bike over really well, both mm-hmm. of them. Um, so yeah, so those are two batteries I'm testing if you guys are interested, and uh, I can't say anything bad about either of them at this point. Any questions? I'm impressed with the cranking apps. They really turn those bikes over quick. And your bikes fire immediately. We're, yeah. we, mine with the lead acid takes a little while. It's got the... <laughs> it fires See, on the second Mine pump, did that know? when yeah. I first yeah. bought my bike. It started that crap. Yeah. So what? tell me about your battery. Mine, and your year, your bike and everything and where you're at with it. It's a 2015 Road Glide. And so oh, I'm, the Road Glides are harder to turn over, though. Oh, definitely. What color is it? Oh, it's blue, so well, it takes a lot more. That's a well-known problem there. because it's blue. That's a big boy's bike, so it takes a while exactly. to fire over. Uh, I've kept mine tendered the whole time I've had it, five years. If I'm not on it, it's on the left and it's plugged in. So you do, yeah, the yeah. lead acid, just keep her on there. Yeah, yep. uh, but I also have all the uh, extra lighting on there. I've got the, the Stage 2 amp, so I just like to make sure that it's fully charged. But uh, it's, it's starting to get a, a little weak. I think I'm 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 at where yours was, mm. so I think I've got enough to start it, but I don't know for how long. And whether it's cold, if yeah. you left it out all night in the winter, would it fire? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. And the other thing, like he said, he's got a bunch of lights. I will tell you right now. I know it's a joke, but we uh, it's <laughs> your bike's not a, a UFO, dude. Yeah, <laughs> we got a lot of shit on my bike, yeah. cowboy. Yeah. You saw yeah, it today. Yeah. Um, I do have a parasitic draw, and a lot of bikes do. If you put amps and you put stereos and you put lights, and even if it's stock, you can have a parasitic draw, which means it's off, but something, even something though it's not on, power. is drawing. And Slow so if I, leave, if I leave that off for two weeks I've, you know, or a week, I've done it, and then I've tested the battery, it's like way low. Like I'll put the voltmeter on it. It's got a parasitic draw. And so I just, that's why I leave it on all the time because when I'm ready to go, I need to go. Mm-hmm. I don't have, you know, I don't want it dead. And at some point... Um, they will go to sleep. The lithium ions will go to sleep. We've talked about this in the other episode, so I won't go too deep into it, but um, they, 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 it's bad. Like a, li- like a lead acid, um, you can dump it a few times and charge it back up and it's okay. A lithium ion, you definitely don't want to dump it to critical levels because it might not recover. Right. Um, they will, a lot will, but it's, you don't want to risk it. So the, some of them won't come back. So they have a protection where they go to sleep. They exactly. Yeah. A yes. circuit board. I don't understand yes. that, but there's some, some there's something. They'll put themselves goes, to sleep yep. so they don't ruin themselves. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. And it's and so you gotta wake them back up and there's different oh. ways to wake them back up, but you gotta, you know, turn your ignition on and wait, try to get your headlight on. Um, interesting thing is um, sometimes if they go really to sleep, you might have to Have you ever had this experience? I did. Okay. I did oh, have this experience, yeah. yes. I left it off the tender for like a month, yeah. And I have a parasitic draw, and uh, um, I it it wouldn't charge the tender. Um, the tender wouldn't even get the bike to start. Now, what I should have did is put it just like on a regular charger, and that's what I suggest you do. If you do get one to go to sleep, put it on a regular like trickle charger, right? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Like not a tender, but an right. actual trickle charger, and that will a charger, not a tender. It's kind of like what I say the uh, defib thing. Yeah. You know, clear. <laughs> right. That's what it's doing. You need to, you need to, 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 to wake it up, slap the shit out of it, and that's how you do it. And because uh, um, I took it down, and um, I was like, it's dead, and I was going to get it under warranty. And uh, I took it down to the dealership, and they put it on their thing, and they're like, no, it's test and perfect. I go, that's what I thought. And uh, I go, we need to wake it. And uh, that's all they did. Um, I learned something there because I turn on the tender. I'm like, that should wake it, or I should turn my ignition on. It was so far so, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense now, right? It's not yeah, enough to. Wake it exactly. Up. Yeah. So you got to shock it, and uh, that's what they did. They just put it on a regular charger, and bam, it woke right up, and it's perfect every sense. But I let it sleepy really sleepy batteries, sleepy Son batteries. So I just say that's why I just keep it on the tender. They will go to sleep. Now that I know what I know, I could wake it easily. Um, but uh, yeah, it's better not to have it go to sleep, right? right. But it, it took sure. a lot. It was like three weeks of being off the tender because I have a parasitic draw. It was like I'm tapping out. Yeah. You've, yeah, you've drained yeah, me and I don't want to ruin myself. Yeah. That's the beautiful part about them. Yeah. Yeah. Because you dump a lead acid a few times, Yo. it ruins them. Yeah. yeah. You can do it a few times if you're lucky, but after that, you just, it just like, I'm not ever charging again. You just ruined me. Two, three if you're lucky. Exactly. Yeah. It'll fry them. Yeah. A lot of information, dude. Do mm. you guys have any questions? I'm like a spent battery. Because, yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I need some CCA right now, bro. Yeah. 
I'm are you willing to give your are you willing to give your uh thoughts on if my battery is dying, which I think it is, should I get another lead acid or should nope. I get a lithium? Lithium. Okay. I'm absolutely sold. I remember I remember Ed telling us that a long time ago. Yep. Hey, dude, you should get a lithium. But it was we didn't have a lot of experience with And them. the technology wasn't as good back then. Yeah. They've come a long way. They've come quite a long ways. And and they they are freaky light. I mean, it feels like an empty box. There's like right. hardly anything in it. So yep. nice. I think just for the weight savings, uh, the cold cranking amps. The longevity. The longevity. The I'm, predicted longevity. I'm going to go right. for it. I would, dude. Okay. It's not that much more. I price them out in it's my about article. about 30% more. 30% more, yeah. More, yeah. Um, if you get eight, nine years out of that, if you get that much, I'm not saying you will, but I know people that have. Um, uh, I've talked to people um, that have those, and if you take care of them, um, like I do, you know, and keep them charged. Don't let them go to sleep. Make sure they don't get down. All, most of them have the protections now. Make sure you buy a quality one, right? It's like just, you can get some junk out there. So make sure you buy a quality one. Mm-hmm. Lithium is just better technology. Even it is. In, in AA batteries, like when I'm uh, going hunting, uh, I, I'll buy the lithiums from my headlamps just because they're lighter. Yeah. And they last longer, too. Yep. It's just a better technology. Eventually, lead yeah. acid is going away. Yeah. yeah. Just understand that. It's... it's, it's oh, yeah. Not good technology. It's old technology. Um, so it eventually will go away, and everything will right. be lithium ion. I mean, all your me. you sold me. I'm gonna all your it. electric cars and electric motorcycles. Are and I'm going to get it through the lab yep. affiliate. I'm going to click on through and get one. Atta boy. Nice. Uh, what are you going to do with your battery, dude? We, as we take it out here. Yeah. You're going to uh, go to uh, Sturgis this year. You're going to test it. Because I, I'm going to test it. it I'm not bump starting your ass, no, dude. I'm going to test. Not. Yeah, I'm definitely going to test it before I leave. Because if it's I, dead, don't it worry. A few of us will bring some jump yeah. starters. Oh, Ooh. thanks. Yeah, Church, appreciate it. No, it skips. It goes and then stops and then and then it. Oh. Dude, that was like, the best over. one he did all because yeah. he wasn't was nervous the, about it. Yeah. That was, that was money, that dude. Spot. That yeah. was the best one. So yeah, mine mine does that first initial crank and then kind of st- just completely Stutters. stops. Yes, pauses and then it cranks over. And so I, but I mean, I'm six years into that battery. Yep. Over ten. That's actually good. Ten thousand miles. So Be happy I'm, with that. Yeah, I'm. I just think before our big trip this summer, I'll definitely need to swap it out. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yep. Damn, Skippy. Mm. That video helped me. Now Anything? I know how to test it. Anything? I'm looking at you. I'm all I'm tapped out. You. All right, guys. We've had fun. It's been a fun episode. Hopefully, you uh, hung with us through our ride home. Hopefully, you had some fun through our ridiculousness of sound. Yeah. But that's what makes it fun because we just can't do boring podcasts. Watch guys. at Amazon. Do we have an Amazon call to action? I don't think I see it up there, so I'll just do it cold. Uh, I think you should. If you it. just want to help us out, no cost to you. Go to lawbikerbiker.com and uh, click through the banners link and uh, go through the Amazon page. It gives us a little taste, a little click on the back end. Oh, there it is. Uh, there's there's really no extra thing for you at all. It just it tracks your purchase and we get a little small commission on the back end. So if you can go through and uh, click through and make a bookmark, I've done it on my computer because Ryan owns the company. How do you so, do a bookmark? Lawbodybiker.com forward slash Amazon. Yeah. That'll get what? you there first. And then and then bookmark it. Call whatever you want. Lab, Amazon, whatever. So I'll actually show you live right now because Cowboy can see. If I go to my tab here and I go right down here to see it, Amazon dash lab. Wow. And I click it's on right that there. and you can see the little key stuff down here. See the uh, law body yeah. biker crap yep. in there? That puts a little tracking mechanism on, if you will. Mm. And law abiding biker gets a little kickback. Doesn't cost you anything extra, you get a little bit more. So if you bookmark that thing and do all your purchases through uh, that link, we get a little taste. A little something you don't even know you're end. doing it. They know. Nice. No, you don't know you're doing it. You and you can buy whatever price. you want. Doesn't matter on a motorcycle. Yes. Anything on Amazon. Yeah. Nice. yeah, you can get whatever you need. You can get your uh, Done deal. D batteries for your big dildos or whatever you got oh. going on. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You can get lithium. a lithium ion battery. Lithium, you can get a lithium ion battery lithium. for your uh, yeah, adult for toys, sure. whatever you exactly. want. Exactly. They last longer. But every purchase, TP right now. I mean, TP on Amazon. But good luck The world's going it. to hell and you yeah, need toilet good luck paper. Finding it. Everything that you buy on Amazon, we get a little taste. A little something on the back end. Ooh, well Nicely done. done. Lawbindingbiker.com well forward slash Amazon and then just bookmark that bitch. Mm. There you go. Just like that. Awesome, man. Good episodes. Two back-to-back. Thanks, Cowboy, for being here, man. Yeah. Did you have fun? Oh, yeah. Always. It was a last-minute thing. Yeah. Cowboy rode all the way for down sure. here. He's got to ride all the way back Ooh, for like two hours. Woo. I feel bad for him. Yeah, it happens. I know. It's I mean, worth I, I ride, it. I ride it, in it, but yeah, I get it. It's worth yeah. it. Money. Money.